Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up a VEST controller to work with an e-bike throttle. So we're going to use the BLDC tool to carry out this process and the first thing we need to do is connect. So we're now connected to our VEST controller. I'm using a 4S battery which is around 14.5 volts so I need to lower my battery cutoff points so that it doesn't get in the way of our programming. I'll set those to 8 volts and 8 volts and we'll write that configuration. We'll now set up the app and uh, we're going to use the ADC app to work with our e-bike throttle. Select the ADC app, write that configuration. When you actually change an app you need to always carry out a reboot Hit the reboot button and reconnect and so we're now set up to use ADC. Select the ADC tab and we have first of all our control mode options. We're interested in current mode or duty cycle in our situation. Current mode, if we set up in current mode that gives us if we if we um, give it 50% throttle, that means it will send 50% current or 50% power to the motor. If we set up in duty cycle, if we give it 50% throttle, it will give it 50% speed to the motor. So in this case, we'll select duty cycle, and uh, we do this for the purpose so we can actually speed see the, uh, the the motor ramp up and down with throttle changes. If we set it in current mode, it would just go to full throttle, and you wouldn't see um, any changes with the throttle. We have uh, two more settings here. We have our minimum voltage and our maximum voltage. These are key to uh, setting up the uh, the e-bike throttle. Now, the defaults of one volt and 3.3 are designed to match what the VESC output is. Uh, if a, we if we had a typical e-bike controller, it would output five volts to the throttle and 5 volts the throttle would then feed back 4 volts at full throttle and 1 volt at zero throttle. Now because we're feeding in 3.3 volts from the VESC uh, at zero throttle we're still going to get around about 1 volt as our minimum voltage but our maximum voltage now is going to be much lower and probably around about the 2.5 volt mark coming back from the, uh, from the throttle. And we can actually measure what the throttle is doing with the, uh, the VRDC tool that we hit the display button and we can see here down the bottom it's a little bit hard to see because it's in grey writing but it's telling us we've got an output voltage from our, um, our throttle of 0.85 of a volt um, so that's our minimum voltage setting at the moment it's set at 1 volt what I like to do is I like to set it this particular voltage a little bit higher um, than what it's registering here just to make sure that we definitely have the uh, speed controller shut off when we're at zero throttle. So it's it's reading 0.85 of a volt back from the throttle. I'm going to make that 0.9 of a volt just to be safe. 0.9 and we'll write that configuration. So with the duty cycle selected and our minimum voltage selected and our maximum voltage still set at default, we should be able to get a run out of the motor. So we'll just give that a test and I'll go to full throttle. And you can see the motor starts nicely. However, it is only going to around about 70% uh, duty cycle because of uh, this, this voltage configuration at the moment. Now, I can see at the moment that the actual voltage is 2.55 volts from this throttle. So what I need to do is I need to match that 2.55 volts with our maximum voltage tab up here. So I'll change this to 2.55 and we'll write that configuration and now that I've done that with a bit of luck we should be able to see full throttle out of this throttle and we're now reading 100% throttle and full bar all the way across throttle's got nice modulation good range all the way through the throttle and essentially that's all there is to uh, setting up uh, an e-bike throttle with a, with a VESC thank you very much